Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to add games to your at games Genesis HD. But before we get started, a word of warning. This is a bit dangerous to do. You will need to be working with ADB. After all, the at games HD Genesis does run Android 4.4. So you need to follow this tutorial at your own risk. I am not responsible if you brick your Genesis and then have to throw it up against a wall because you get mad. There probably won't be an easier way to hack this thing. It does run Android 4.4. You need a little bit of basic Android knowledge to get this up and running. There are a few things we need to install on our computer. So I just wanted to get that out of the way before you start this. This method is by a user over on Instructables named Sephiros. I did try myself for days to get this to work, but I could not get the permissions correct. He finally got it working, so I figured I'd make a video on it. He created a full write-up over on Instructables. You can head over there if you don't want to watch the video. He explains everything you need to know to get this up and running, even how to bring it back to stop. First thing you're going to need to do is take the Genesis apart. There are seven screws. You need to remove four pads. There are six screws on the outer edges of the case and one under the sticker in the middle. We need to gain access to the mini USB port on the board, so we're going to need to take the top of the case off, and then there are four more screws on the board itself you need to remove. If you have an angled mini USB type B cable, you might not have to remove the board, but I don't have anything like that, so I had to take the four screws out, lift the board a bit so I could plug the USB cable in. You're going to need a mini USB type B cable. It's the same kind of cable that came with the PS3 controllers to charge them up. And you're also going to need a PC. I'm using a Windows PC, but this will work on Mac or Linux. You might have to find the correct ADB drivers for it to work on those systems. But in this video, I'm going to be focusing on Windows 10. Let's move over to there now. All right, guys. So now that you have the Genesis HD taken apart, it's time to plug it into your PC. You might see something that looks like this. MTP USB device. At least that's what mine says. But on another PC that I have, it actually says RK3036. Find the newly added device. Inside of here, you should have a NAND flash. And if you look in here, it looks just like we plugged an Android phone into our PC. We have DCIM, download pictures. We don't wanna worry about any of this right now. We just wanna make sure that it connects to our PC. We will have to add stuff in here later on. Now that we know our Genesis is connected to our PC, it's time to download the flashbackhdhack.txt. This is just a guide I made up. It's very simple to use. Download it, put it on your desktop, because you can copy and paste all of these commands. It'll make life so much simpler for everybody. Next thing we'll need, ADB setup. This is 15 second ADB install. I'll leave a link in the description for everything I'm mentioning except for ROMs and pictures. You have to find those on your own. Just Google them and you'll be able to find anything you ever wanted. ADB setup, just double click, run. Do you want to install ADB in Fastboot? Yes, we do. So we'll press Y, enter. Install ADB system wide? Yes, Y, enter. Do you want to install device drivers? We might as well. Why? Enter. Click next and finish. All done. It'll close down on its own. So we're almost ready to start hacking the Genesis HD, but first you need to go ahead and get some games on Google. You'll also need to get some artwork if you want artwork added. I have mine in a folder called Gen Roms on my desktop. Now the file format for the Genesis HD is .bin. But if you download them, you might find something that looks like .md. This is .megadrive. We can change this format here just by right-clicking, rename, bin, B-I-N. Press Enter. Yes, we would like to change it. Now we have a Genesis game that will work on the Genesis HD. Next up, like I mentioned, if you want some artwork, you're going to need to download it. I have a folder in here called Pics. I'm going to actually snap this to the side and I'm going to open this up again just so you can see the naming convention here with the pictures and the games themselves. I have Streets of Rage 2, Streets of Rage 3, Streets of Rage, and Super Street Fighter 2 here all ready to go. These pictures are in the correct format and the correct naming convention. If you notice here, it's named exactly like the game we want to match it up with. 
except we have a .png on the end. I'm gonna show you how to convert it using paint. This is one I downloaded on Google. It's gunstar underscore box dot JPEG. We need to convert this. We're gonna right click, open with, paint. Now we need to make this the correct size. So we'll go to resize. Pixels needs to be 214 by 300. When I change this to 214, this went to 305. We want this to be 300, so we're gonna uncheck maintain aspect ratio and change this to 300. Click OK. Now the picture's the correct size, we need to name it correctly. File, save as, PNG. You need to name this exactly like the ROM you wanted to match up with. So this is my Gunstar Heroes artwork. I want it to match up with that. I'm gonna have to rename it. Gunstar Heroes dot Ben dot PNG. You can save it in the Pix folder if you'd like to. Save, and there we have it. So this will match up with my Gunstar Heroes dot Ben. I'm gonna delete the old one just so I don't get confused. And that's it. We'll now have games with matching artwork. After you have all of that set up, it's time to get into hacking this unit. Create a new folder on your desktop. Right click, new, folder, name it flashback. Open up this newly created folder. Hold shift, right click, open up PowerShell window here. Yours might say open up command prompt here. Mine's set to PowerShell. Command prompt will work just like PowerShell does with ADB. So we're gonna open up PowerShell. Now I'm gonna snap this over to the right hand side. I'm gonna open up the text document I downloaded from my description. So this is really easy. We're just gonna copy and paste each one of these commands. One, two, three, four, five, six. First command is ADB devices. This will tell us what ADB devices are connected to our PC. We have my Genesis HD, ADB pull system at games, all games .ini. We need to pull this file from the Genesis HD. This is what we're gonna edit to tell the Genesis HD that we're adding more games. Press enter. So after we ran that command, that newly created flashback folder now has that file we just pulled right inside of it. Number three is the riskiest command that we're gonna be using. This command tells the flashback to allow modifications to the system files. If you're still with me, let's go ahead and copy it and paste it right in here. Press enter. Now we can edit anything in the file system on the Genesis HD, you need to be careful. This command creates a backup of the original allgames.ini. We're gonna back it up. Press enter. This command creates a link between the original allgames.ini file and the new one that we're gonna edit. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this. Paste, enter. This command restores the original read-only state of the system files. So now we can't edit anything or break anything as long as we put this back in. All right, we can close ADB down and our text file. I recommend making a backup of this folder here. So I'm just gonna create another folder and call it flashback2. That way I always have a backup. So I'm just gonna right click, copy. I'm just gonna paste it right in here. That way I always have a backup of my allgames.ini, my original file. Okay, we're almost done here. Let's create another folder on our desktop and call it games. New folder, games with a capital G. We're gonna be working with this folder for a second. 
I'm going to take all the games that I want to add. I'm just going to snap this over here and open up my newly created games folder. I'm going to take my games, place them right in here. I'm also going to take my pictures and place them right in here. Now, in order for this to work correctly, we need to edit the original .ini file and tell the Sega Genesis HD that we just added these games. We're going to make another copy of the allgames.ini just to be safe and paste it right in here to our newly created games folder. All right, so now we need to edit the games.ini. We're just going to open this up. It'll open up with Notepad. I'm actually going to snap it to the side here. Then I'm going to open up that text document I downloaded, the flashbackhack.txt. At the very bottom here, we have the INI format. If you look over here, Adventure in the Park, File, At Games, Genesis, Adventure in the Park, .bin .gz. Platform Genesis, Genre, Arcade. You can add a description, D-pad, and what the buttons do. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom in our INI file. We're just going to copy this, copy, paste it right at the very end. So from here, we need to change the game name to one of the games we added. I'm going to go with Gunstar Heroes right here. We also need to add the file location. So it's whatever.bin. Ours is named gunstarheroes.bin. Easiest way to do this is to just click rename, copy, come over here, and paste it. You can also add the platform. You can also add the platform, the genre, a brief description, and what the buttons do. I'm not going to worry about that right here. I'm just going to copy this again. I'm going to go under here, two, two lines, paste. I'm going to add my next game, Streets of Rage 2. So I can copy this, paste it right in here for the name of the game. And I'm going to point the INI to that file, Streets of Rage 2.bin. I'm going to show you this one more time. We're just going to copy this two spaces down. Paste. My next game is Streets of Rage 3. There's not much I need to edit here except for the three here and the three here. We'll go again. My next game is Streets of Rage. There's not much I need to edit here either. And we'll go one more time for my Super Street Fighter game. Rename. Copy. I'll point the INI to the file. And I'm also going to put the name of the game in here. Copy. Super Street Fighter 2. Paste. File. Save. Now we need to place this games folder with all of our games, our artwork, and our edited INI file on the Sega Genesis HD. So we'll go back to the Sega Genesis HD. NAN flash, and we'll just drag it over here. Make sure it finishes copying up, and we're done. I'm going to move over to my Sega Genesis HD. I'm going to show you I have those new five games on there, and we'll play one real quick. You might want to reboot the Sega Genesis once just so everything shows up. All right, guys, so here we are with the freshly modded at games Genesis HD. We're just going to scroll over and find those new games that we added. Here's Gunstar Heroes with the artwork. Now I didn't name heroes correctly, so I had to go back and rename the PNG to the correct name. So if you're running into issues, you probably have something named incorrectly. Streets of Rage, Streets of Rage 2, Streets of Rage 3, Super Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition. I'll go ahead and start Streets of Rage 2 real quick. Press start. And it should play like a normal Genesis game.
I'll choose Blaze. And that's it. So I definitely recommend not adding 100 games at one time. Add a few, make sure everything works, make backups of everything, and then add a few more. That's really the only advice I can give you. And also, make sure everything is named correctly. Everything is space and case sensitive. You might also run into some games that just don't work, and you'll have to find a different copy of them or find another game to play. We'll back out of here. All the menus should function like they do with the original games. We'll go with one more. Gunstar Heroes. Press Start. back out of here. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you get some games added to your at game Sega Genesis HD. It is kind of dangerous. You could mess something up. So do this at your own risk. If you guys could hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching. Real quick, I just wanted to remind you guys that I do have a Patreon, and if you're interested in helping the channel out, I really appreciate it. I also offer monthly Patreon giveaways. So go ahead and check it out. Links in the description.